if the patient has come to you patient has kind of told you that you know what these are my symptoms how will you evaluate this particular patient If the patient has come to you patient has kind of told you that you know what these are my symptoms how will you evaluate this particular patient the first thing is obviously the careful history you will ask the patient for penile deformity like how severe it is how it is interfering with the intercourse is it associated with the pain are you getting some amount of distress with that or something so all these particular things you will kind of take in the history then comes the time of your physical examination in this the penis is examined on stretch so i hope you remember i told you that we have to go ahead with a kind of a flaccid penile stretch like you know uh, the flaccid penile you have to stretch it and then you have to kind of measure the length of that which allows the easier identification of the plague acid so when you kind of pull this particular flaccid penis when you kind of pull it the palpation of the plague it becomes a bit easier now stretched penile length is a critical parameter to measure at the initial consultation okay that's what you need to understand okay so this is the a uh, person is basically trying to kind of palpate the plaque by stretching the penis and then here they are trying to kind of assess the curvature and the angles and all this stuff now what you need to understand is that the plaque they basically kind of feel like a rocky hard structure so they are basically rock hard structure and this can be indicator of your calcification if at all you kind of are palpating the plaque and some rocky hard structures are kind of felt over there this is indicator of your calcification but this needs to be confirmed with the help of usg so they might ask you okay this is a tricky question they might ask you what is a radiological investigation which you might perform in order to look for the penile like calcification in the penile plaque the answer will be usg don't go ahead with the ct scan or an x ray or something like that the answer is usg i'll show the image but yeah just understand this okay so calcification it is an activation of the genes involved in the osteogenic activity i told you that sometimes the plaque can have osteogenic redifferentiation leading to the calcification in that particular plaque now even if you go ahead with the intralesional verapamil and interferon it was supposed to kind of help but they are not really really that helpful so forget about it it doesn't kind of have uh, is not that helpful in kind of treating or preventing the calcification or reducing the severity of the plaque or something so forget about this in the examination all you need to remember is that you have to go ahead with the history and then you have to go ahead with the physical examination in the physical examination you have to stretch the penis you have to note what is a stretched penile length and then you have to kind of palpate the kind of the plaque and in the plaque you also look for the calcification okay so if at all any rocky hard structure is felt in the plaque that is probably calcification and the best radiological method to look for the penile like plaque calcification is your usg got it so this is a usg i hope that you're able to understand this is what is a penis and let's say for all there was a plaque over here it is basically causing a posterior acoustic shadowing does it make sense so this is what is a posterior acoustic shadowing and this is basically the another view of this so here there was a plaque this is causing a posterior acoustic shadowing so please understand this is how the usg helps in kind of uh, looking at the calcification of the penile plaque and what is this this is a goniometer now this is a image based question which they can ask you this goniometer is basically used to measure the curvature so this is basically done with the erect penis so curvature is always measured in the erected penis okay i hope you got this point so just remember that this is a goniometer which is used to kind of have a look at the degree of the curvature of the erect penis <laughs>